Hi friends, we are heading towards Shabbat Space and Science Center. It's in Oakland. You can see all the green trees all around this area. This is kind of a hill area. You can see bikers here. There's one biker right there. And we're 0.5 miles away from Shabbat Space Center. There's lots of cars heading back from Shabbat Space Center. You can see all the green trees. You, As you can see, lots of uh, cars are parking here. The people who park here are going to go hiking. You can see all the green areas. Lots of trees. Ooh, there's a sign. Chapot Space and Science Center. I think we're close to Chabot Space Center. We're gonna take a right here. You can see welcome flags. More welcome flags. Oh my god. We reached Chabot Space Center, guys. Now we're gonna take a right to park our car. The sign parking. Oh, people are already here. We're gonna find our parking now. We're gonna take a left to find our parking. This is a polo satellite simulator. As you can see, I'm just running and switching buttons, but technically, these switches have their own importance for the ship to work. I can name a few panels from the pilot panel. Fuel temperature, fuel and temperature, vacuum, rotation per minute, digital clock, which tells the outside temperature of the space. As you can see, the planetarium. The planetarium where, is the one where it shows us the planets. But we'll come back to that later. There's a theater. Now we're going to explore. There's a science board. There's a cafeteria. This is where the cafeteria is. This is where all the equipment for the space is. This is the astronaut suit. If you ever read about Neil Armstrong, he is the first person to set foot on the moon. July, in July 29th in 1969. These are the equipment for the ship. Lots of wires, lots of oxygen gases, that's a satellite, we 
what's happening at NASA's Ames Research Center? Items and innovation. Do you know the two types of satellites? One is the natural satellite, which is the moon. It revolves around the Earth. Second, the second one is the artificial satellite, which is made by us by our own hands. I, I made my own satellite simulator with a disc, a cup, and some batteries, a wire connected to the fan. Now we're entering into the planetarium. In this, I learned there are 300 billion galaxies in the universe. Do you know which galaxy we are in? That's right, we're in the Milky Way Galaxy. Now while we're doing that activity, we're making paper rockets. My paper rocket is ready. Now I'm in the line to launch it. As you can see, the person is pumping the air into the rocket so the rocket can fly high into the sky. Now the person is pumping air. Now it's going to go fly into the sky. Whoa, it's so, it went so high. This is lab one. Here you can create your own planet with different kinds of accessories you want. You can color the planet and lose a pain or whatever you want to keep on it.
rename my planet. This is Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. We can see this with the naked eye because it's so far up and it looks like a star. And it's also called the reddish planet. Now we're heading towards the telescope zone. Wow, that's a big telescope. By the help of the telescope, I saw Mars. It was so reddish and colorful. It's so beautiful. The instructor told that in the winter, you can see more planets. This, this is the Rachel Telescope. It's so big and powerful. It can see those little stars in space. That's all you guys. Thank you for watching Charlotte Space Center video. Bye.